I honestly can't believe this man really quit his job to sit home and play the PS5 all day. When I woke up this morning, I just knew I had to stand on business. I was thinking long and hard all night, like what could I really do to make him feel so uncomfortable that he just get up and leave? I wanted him to believe that I really gave away my apartment, so I started by clearing out the refrigerator and the freezer. I gave all these meats to my homegirl, and then whatever we didn't use in the refrigerator, I went ahead and threw it out. <laughs> Listen, first of all, let's pray for this baby. First of all, all right, I'm going to start my comment from the back of the video when she said that she couldn't get the police involved because he'd been over 30 days. Honey, sis, you're wrong. As long as his name is not on the lease... He got to go. If you would have called the police, he got to go. Our first video. She said she had to pretend she was getting evicted just to get her man out of her apartment. Ladies, y'all got to chill. Yo, yo, come on now. <laughs> you got to do better than that. It's this jump podcast. You heard you. Yeah. Let's go. I honestly can't believe this man really quit his job to sit home and play the PS5 all day. When oh, I woke dang. up this morning, I just knew I had to stand on business. I was thinking long and hard all night. Like, what could I really do to make him feel she so ain't had no red flag before she moved him in? I wanted him to believe that I really gave away my apartment. So I started by clearing out the refrigerator and the freezer. I gave all these meats to my homegirl. And then whatever we didn't use in the refrigerator, I went ahead and threw it out. Damn. I also had a plan to get the lights temporarily cut off, but my apartment complex did let me know that I wasn't able to do that because then that would be a breach in my lease, which I didn't want to start any conflict with that. This green bowl was some salmon, and if y'all know Nard, y'all know he loves salmon. So his feelings were so hurt when away, he opened baby. the refrigerator no, and didn't you see should, that salmon in there You should have cooked up the salmon. Oh, Once on. I cleaned out the refrigerator, I went ahead to the dumpster and threw out everything that we no longer needed. I went over to Walmart to get some locks to change the locks, but I didn't even have to change them because we ended up having a conversation and he just packed his stuff and left. That's hey, Mama Mia. Hey, girl. Now, you said, why well, go through all of that? All you yes. have to do is throw Barney his Chronicles. ass out if it's a true story. It sounds to me like y'all ain't never heard of domestic violence. Baby, if you don't know our track record, let me go ahead and give you a little insight real quick. Please do. All you got to do is look us up, Bookie. We got over 10 domestic violence cases. That was a boxing match. kidnapping. <laughs> all of that. Did she so say kidnapping? Why in my good mind would I just throw his shit out? Do you think I want to get... And you're not the she only one in the comments that keeps saying this. Why not just throw his stuff out? Why not just... Why you had to do all that? Baby, a man that don't want to leave ain't going to leave. And if you know anything about the law, he's been here over 30 days, Buki. They're not going to kick him out. That, no, and who want to walk around with black eyes just to be able to say... Hey, police, he beat me up. Can y'all lock him up? You see this face? It never declines. So I don't need no scars, no bruises, no none of that behind no nigga. Okay, now she But anyways, yes. Yeah, so to answer y'all question, why did I have to do all that? Because I wasn't trying to get a two-piece special. But yeah, that's it. That's all. Uh, uh, <laughs> Listen, first of all, let's pray for this baby. First of all, all right. I'm going to start my comment from the back of the video when she said that she couldn't get the police involved because he'd been over 30 days. Honey, sis, you're wrong. As long as his name is not on the lease, he got to go. If you would have called the police, he got to go. Another thing is, another tip, ladies, gentlemen, whoever, if you have a, a crib and you allow, you know, a gentleman or a, or a young lady to stay, what you have to do is make sure they do not get any mail in their name oh. coming to your house. Because like my man just said. You can't establish a residency. Exactly. If he ain't, he only been there 30 days, yeah, you can kick him out. Just make sure he or she don't got no mail. Mm -hmm. Now, she used a word, uh, a word she kept using it. Because if a man don't want to leave, a man ain't going to leave. We, we got to stop uh, using these words, you know, interchangeably and very loosely. <laughs> yeah. Because men... Don't do that. Men leave. I'm out. Men can get themselves. Okay, give me 30 days so I can give me a new place and I'm out. Yeah. We can't keep, first of all, the whole he wanted to play PlayStation 5. Listen, I'm about to open up a game gaming center. Shout out my man, Sam. Big so shout out, Sam. Next time, just send just send him to my facility. He can play the game all day. That way he ain't going to be in the house. But, like, come on. No grown-ass no grown man is sitting playing PlayStation 5 
all day. Now, I know there's men that play the game. That's cool. But no yes. grown ass man is sitting. No, first of all, no grown ass man is going to lose his job and then sit around and play yeah. PlayStation or well, Xbox you, or whatever. You know, she made it out. She she made it seem as if he quit his job to just play Xbox or play, I'm sorry, PlayStation. He as if he was, you know, man, fuck this job. I ain't trying to get no money. I'm just going to sit in the crib and play my PlayStation all day. Call of Duty. <laughs> Hit me up, y'all. I'm I'm Call of Booty. I'm I'm bum ass nigga 2024. <laughs> that's my handle. <laughs> like, come on. Like, first of all, yeah, I mean, that that's one problem. Then the fact that she said, look us up, honey. We got 10 domestic violence. Like, that's that's like a, a real boxing match. You only needed yeah. two more rounds. Yeah. So you just y'all just going domestic violence for domestic violence? Like, and here on the Dish Joan podcast, we don't condone any uh no, domestic violence. But come on like okay after the first two get homie out of there man like i just don't understand this is more to this story than it like it, she's saying like, than what just, she's telling who's who's throwing out salmon salmon is expensive <laughs> who's throwing salmon out just to get hey, listen, somebody out that salmon should have been his last meal and bread and water like come on man yeah, listen gotta chill t oh this God. is the part i don't understand t is she did all this. She created this caper, this facade to get this man out of the house and then put the shit on TikTok. Yo, you look, put it on Beyonce's internet. It's Al Gore's internet. It ain't oh, Al Gore? I'm Al sorry. Al Gore started this internet. <laughs> but, <laughs> put some respect on his name. Well, get out. At the end of the day. You put the shit on the internet. This is for everybody. Like, he's not going to find out, bro. Stop going to social. Y'all really, I'm, I'm. when I say this, I'm being serious. So I, I know we be funny up here, but I'm being serious. Get y'all, instead of spending $100 on them crab legs and going to the bar and them specials, save $100 a month and go get you some therapy. Because y'all need to talk to somebody who can help y'all. Stop going to the internet. The internet will never help you, ever. Y'all put your whole business out there. If y'all know NAR, so now everybody know NAR. Everybody. No, he eats salmon, play PlayStation. He ain't got no damn job. Everybody know NAR now, dog. Everybody know NAR. Guess what, NAR? You, your girl, she conjured up a whole scheme to get you out the apartment. Listen. I'm NAR, sure NAR know by now. Now that you famous, NAR, you might as well put the booking info in your, uh, in your bio, <laughs> in your Instagram. And now. Now see, you can make some money. Now you maybe you can get back in. I mean, I don't know. But hey. hey. It could, it could happen. Everybody, T says she probably was making space for another dude. Probably was. To, you never know. In today's world, you never, you never know. I, I can't put <laughs> nothing past. Like I don't know. But the the whole of going through this this whole show, changing the locks, um, then talking about domestic violence. Why not? Yes, you can call the police. That, that's that's what the police is there for. It, like I said, even if he does not have his name on the lease, he got to go. And then when he when, when he's out of the house, go and get yourself a restraining order. I want y'all to get yourself a pistol. Something. Listen, I want y'all to stop. Like when you see a person and they make one mistake, okay, you forgive them. Stop letting people make five and ten mistakes. That that they, they showing Maya Angelou said it. When a person shows you who they are, believe them. Believe but wait a minute, like, you mean to tell me she did not catch those any of those red flags? Before she let him move, man, back. please them, just ignore them. Them red flags as big as the NASCAR flag at the end of the. At the she saw all of them. <laughs> red flag, checker flag. She saw all of them. Yeah, she. My, shout out to my man Sam tuning in. Like, yeah, she 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 do watch Instagram. Yep, that's what it is. She's that's what they do. She yep. wanted to post it thinking that she was, you know, she big dog. Oh, let me show y'all what I had to do to Nard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got Nard out of there. That's and then they, put put my man name out. Right. Put my man name out there, bro. Right. That's yeah. what they do. Uh, and, and attention, <laughs> I'm telling you, attention and validation is the new drug. Uh, hello. It's like it's attention, validation, then fentanyl. Mm -hmm. That's that's how they go in order. They the mm -hmm. new drugs. You know how we do, man. This your own podcast. <laughs>